Chris here from BTX Technologies. Today I want to introduce you to a close personal friend of mine, the Enogeni Toggle. The Enogeni Toggle is a host-to-host -host handoff switcher for USB peripherals. It's great for conference spaces, but I found an unorthodox use for it right here in my own home studio. Let's take a look at both use cases. As you can see, you can plug any three USB devices into the Enogeni Toggle. In this example, we're just showing a USB camera, USB microphone, and another Enogeni product, the Share2U. On the output side, there are two host ports. And in this application, you'd have a room PC and a BYOM laptop. That gives the toggle the ability to hand those USB peripherals off from computer to computer using either an auto switch that'll be initiated when one person connects or leaves, or this manual button to switch back and forth if both things are connected or they're in an always on application. And you also have this block on the back that can do RS-232 or GPIO control. So if you have a contact closure button or your favorite control system, those are all gonna work too. Now that we know how the toggle works in a conventional application, I wanna talk about a more unconventional application that helped my workflow right here in my studio. After I worked with the Energy Toggle for a little while, I realized I kind of had the same application right here in my home studio. I use these Akai control surfaces. I have two of the APC40 Mark II and one of the old MPD26 to control not just my audio stuff, but also my video production stuff. So there you go. I have two different computers for two different applications, but I want to share the same USB peripherals to control them both. So let's take a look at how it functions in an application like that. Here is computer number one. I'm running Ableton Live for live music performance on this one. Some of you might be familiar with that software. Here's my toggle set up and my two Akai control surfaces. We're just gonna focus on these two for now, although I do have a third connected as well. And because Toggle has connected these to that music PC, I'm able to start and stop the sequencer. I'm able to play loops with it. I'm even able to do things like change settings on the virtual instruments. If you can see uh, those knobs moving back and forth, that's because I'm controlling them from the control surface. Now, if I wanted to stop doing music for a minute and go do video stuff, I still want to use these two control surfaces. Let's see if Toggle can hand them off effectively to my other MacBook where I do my video stuff. Okay, so now we're seeing the second MacBook Pro. This is the one I use for video production. I use software called Resolume Arena. It does the same thing Ableton does for music, except it does it for video. And that's the great thing is the software is so similar that being able to use the same control surfaces is a huge advantage. So here's my toggle. Let's go ahead and hit the manual switch button and see if we can get these control surfaces to see the other PC. So here they come, just come back on. Now they are, boom, they're done. So they're now connected to my Resolume system. So I can start doing things like playing uh, different video clips, um, adding different kinds of effects to the video, you know, all sorts of cool things that Resolume Arena can do, but using the same control surfaces because Toggle was able to hand them off from my music PC to my video PC just by hitting a button. And remember, it's also got the auto switching capability, the RS-232 capability, and the contact closure capability. So that certainly wasn't my only option if I wanted to make that switch some other way, I certainly could have. So that's the NOG toggle. You know, a friend of mine in the industry used to always say, it's all about workflow. I think the NOG toggle represents a great workflow enhancement for any AV system that uses USB peripherals. Please visit us at www.btx.com. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks.